Welcome to 403 Forbidden's video tutorial on Auto IT Scripting, Part 12.1. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over a little bit about the included tools with the full version of SCITE. If you go under Tools, one of my favorites is Coda, a form designer. What Coda does is it allows you to create your own GUIs quickly and easily, without some of the problems that are usually associated with making it manually. Up at the top, you see all of the controls that you can add to your GUI, such as main menu, a label, input boxes, edit boxes, buttons, check boxes, radio buttons, list box, combo box, context menu, and group box. Then there are more tabs that allow you to do pictures, icons, graphics, up and down arrows, put AVIs right into your GUI, tray menus, dummy controls, sliders, progress bars, date pickers, month calendars, tree view, list view, tab control, com object, status bar, and an IP address input box, amongst quite, a f and amongst quite a few other tools. To put it on, just click the button, and click in your GUI where you would like it. Down in the bottom, there's a thing that has all of the properties about that control. The name, which is the, con which is the variable that will be, sorry, the name, which is what the variable that holds the ID of that control that will be named, in this case, button 1, and then the caption of the button, say I am a button, it gets changed automatically. The cursor that that the cursor that is the normal cursor when you're hovering over it, the height, the hint, which is a, a pop-up box, just like this one that says button one, ta tab button, which you can have say anything, such as I am a button. Then you can also change the style of the button. If, as I click the buttons, you can as I click the styles, you can see the button change. If you hit reset though, it goes back to normal. Some of the properties are different for different controls, but it's usually about the same. It's very easy to use. When you're done, just go up to Tools and say Generating Options. I like to say Variables instead of negative 1 when, when possible, because it makes it easier to read. I also like to make sure that the, that the variable scope is set to Global. Hit Save and Generate, and it will generate the code for you, along with the includes that are necessary for the code. There you go. When you run it, of course, it works just fine. There's the button. When you hover over it, over it, it does the cursor that I told it to do, and the tooltip pops up that says, I am a button. Then you have your message loop code down here, which you can change to say whatever you want. Another one of the tools I like quite a bit is called AU3 Recorder. What it does is it records what you do for automating things such as mouse clicks. I'll give you an example. Here in our script directory, we have a new text document. Let's start up the recorder real fast. All right, now, here's what we're going to do. We hit record window text and hit click to record. Once we click it, up in the upper right left-hand corner, it says click to stop. Let's double click the new text document maximize it, and start typing some stuff in. I'm just going ahead and pause it while I type things in. All right, here we are. I have something. I don't quite know what it is. I guess you could call it a face. I typed all of it in just using the keypad while the video was paused. I hit stop on the AU3 recorder, and now if you open up your script, you see that it has all of the buttons that I pushed. Now. Here's what we can do. All we have to do now is close this out, add a sleep function up at the top to give us a little time to get ready, and then we can run it. Let's give it a try and see how it works. All right, I also put something in the script while the video was paused that made there be a 50 millisecond delay between when keys are pressed, just to make it not go super quick. All right, let's right click it, hit run, and watch it go. Wait the five seconds that I set to have it sleep. 
And there it goes. There we go. My guy, whatever you want to call it thing, was made. Just having the AU3 recorder record what I've typed in. A lot of the other tools included in SCITE aren't necessarily as useful as the ones that I've just gone over. There's one called Code Wizard that I do like. It allows you to make your own message box, input box, have certain tooltip options, and then the one that I especially like, colors, which has the hex value for a lot of different types of colors. At this point, all of the other tools you can just go through. This concludes 403 Forbidden's video tutorial on Auto IT scripting, part 12.1. I'll see you in the next tutorial.